what we have here from St. Croix is our new Legend Salt series. Uh, big feature about this series is it incorporates our new 3M technology nano resin, nano matrix resin. Uh, it, it's a big thing for St. Croix. We're pretty proud of it. Basically what it does is typical resins contain a filler. These fillers are, a good analogy would be like the aggregate in concrete. Uh, it absorbs some of the system, but typically these fillers in the traditional resins are fairly large. Well, 3M introduced to us, it's a nano matrix resin, which uses small silica nanoparticles. And the beauty of those particles is they work really well with the carbon fibers. They basically absorb the whole system. They're very small, they take up any voids, any imperfections, and they work really well with the carbon fibers in a way where they're not very abrasive with them. Uh, and basically what it does is it takes you know, what used to be a traditional resin, combine it with these smaller nanical particles, and it makes a lot stronger part. Um, it allowed us to take some things to the extreme. We have our first ever uh, salt water rod here that is 100% carbon fiber. And uh, we're very excited about it and proud to have it here at ICAST this year. Yeah, what I have here is St. Croix's ART technology, which stands for Advanced Reinforcing Technology. You notice these two parts very similar. Really the only difference is one of them has a wall thickness of one one thousandth of an inch uh, larger on diameter, so very similar. But you're going to see here in a minute, as I put these on this load cell, you're going to find that one is uh, incredibly stronger than the other. So what I'll do is I'll start with the part that does not have the ART. There again, pretty basic part carbon fiber put it in there got our basic load cell here I'm gonna apply a, apply a direct force down and you can see the readout here as I go down I'll touch the part I'm gonna to start to get a reading again this is the part without the ART technology I'm gonna bring it to a point where I hear failure failure basically meaning I'm gonna hear a small crack or fracture and then I'm gonna stop it at that point and we'll get our reading just succeed going over to two pounds right now. There's my failure. I don't know if you can hear that, but at the time we were at just about three pounds. Okay? Very typical part, very, very typical in our industry of what people use. Um, pretty basic. Here's our part with ART technology. Now when I say that, I have one wrap of carbon fiber going in the hoop direction. What that does is it doesn't totally prevent it from ovalizing under a load, but it takes more force to get it to ovalize under a load, thus making a stronger part. Again, adding very little weight, next to no weight, and very similar wall thicknesses, and you'll see the strength difference here. Now I have a load cell right here. I'm gonna crank it up. My load cell only goes up to 12 pounds. And already, I'm over my three pound barrier that this one broke at. I'm at 3.6. I'm gonna take it to its maximum. Exceeding over nine pounds, over 10 pounds. Already, we're over seven pounds stronger. And I'm probably gonna go over my limit, which I just did. So I'm just gonna keep cranking it, and finally you get failure. So I was well over 12 pounds when that failed. So there again, there's the difference. Broken part, not broken. ART without ART, straight from St. Croix.